Now recently the problems have come up and a lot of you know hue and cry in newspapers, there's that. That these tigers being shot here and tigers being sold in China or making the aphrodisiac or some medicines out of that. These kind of things have and then the prices of tiger bones have gone up. And really the tiger has been shot in the last few years and which I know because I being in charge of the national park of Ranthambo near about twenty years and then I was in charge of another project tiger in Rajasthan, Sariska. And there also I find out a lot of poachers, I have gone through the poachers and we have find out these problems. I mean problems are that first thing which we really is that I mean you don't have a proper you know the patrolling or patrol, pro proper security of is your forest. Then the problem comes in like people who really are interested in tiger bones and leopard bones or cat bones or whatever it is and then they try to come in and then they shoot these animals. And today what the problem is because the lacuna of managing the project. I mean you have not the dedicated staff and possibly I can feel it. There is a very layer, a very very low uh, inclination to protect this animal from the government side also. And possibly that even the government is very reluctant about the project tiger. If they are very, if they want to do something, I think they have to be very, very strong feeling for the tiger to protect it because the tiger is not only when you protect tiger, it's every environment is important for us because the tiger environment means definitely tiger is apex, but then we have so much any more animals in our, in these areas. So you protect everything. So once we have the problems like this today, like the grazing has been started in the project areas, the people started cutting the forest, they are creating more and more problems because of, they need wood, but they doesn't have the alternatives. So once you make the project, you need to give them alternatives. I mean, you can't stop people from, I mean, uh, burning their chulas or cooking their food because they need food. They doesn't have any alternative, so they have to go in the park. Either you have alternative or you, I mean, you can't stop them coming and cutting the forest. And the population, which is the biggest problem today in our country, which is coming up. So I know exactly when 30 years before when I came to, I mean, Ranthambore started the project, population was not that much a problem. But today, the same village which used to have maybe 1,000 people, now there are 10,000 people. So the need of the fuel has increased like anything. The problem is first, which the biggest problem is the, 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 the fuel, how they can, what they can use in their, so we have to introduce things like biogas or uh, solar power or these kind of things. Then we think about the problem, the increase in their goats, which I mean the loaning system of the government is so bad today that they have started loaning the camels and the goats and sheep which is really enemy of the forest. I mean you can definitely have a loan for the people for the better cattle or the high yield milk cattle which really can give them better you know economy and be better system of taking I mean taking care of the animals. But now everybody possibly most of the people in the villages they have 40 cows but not even have 4 kilo milk. I mean and then they have no food for them so they have to they are forced because the cow is religious for our country and they have to force themselves to take the cow in the forest. And once they go there, I mean they destroy and completely finish the forest. So these are main things which are biggest problem for our parks been coming up. And then whatever the policies we try to make which is not really been uh, implemented in the field. Like we have eco development program for the people. Now the different phases has to be done and then the possibly it can be done, but uh, the problem is that the people who really want to implement, they are not there. So there is a wrong implementation, wrong uh, thing. I mean government is interested to do something for people, but then the people who are implementing, if they are not right people, then the implementation is wrong and then the problem is much more severe than earlier. So these are the problems which really be like grazing and wood cutting and, uh, and then uh, there are uh, other things like uh, I mean, the, as I told you earlier also that the, the field which has been destroyed by the wild boars and the, the animals been killed by the uh, tigers or leopards, that's also a problem. I mean, you have to deal all these problems which are the biggest problem and then growing problems. I mean, there is no way that we are, can short out this problem. Either we have to find out how can we short out and how can we finish this problem. The problem have to be there. So if you want to have this problem all the time in future also, then you doesn't have any anything in future of these uh, parks is def definitely 
not very bright. It's really going to be very, 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 you know, uh, uh, going towards the uh, end, you know, and hope that if things goes like this in this country, I have complete and faith in uh, in be, being, you know, worked in the forest for 30, 35 years, that the, the fate of all the animals and the forest is almost in 5-10 years will finish.